All right, we have a new battery from Power Eurus. This guy's coming in at $400. It's a smart 100 amp hour 12 volt battery. Also, one thing that I noticed is when they sent this to me, the shipping came from, it says Roy Pow. So is this made by Roy Pow? Because those batteries got some pretty good reviews. All right, let's open it up. Oh, another battery that's double boxed. That's a good idea. That's good on these manufacturers. That way it gets to you in good shape. All right, nice foam. And there's the battery. We've got a welcome guide. You can uh, continuously charge it at 50 amps. You can continuous discharge at 100 amps. It says charging protection temperature zero degrees celsius or 32 fahrenheit so maybe that's implying that it does have low temperature protection we will test that you can put four in series it shows two in parallel there's a, a series parallel looks like we have your standard m8 terminals uh, we have some kind of vent right here you yeah, know we have a, a vent I, i'm assuming that's probably some kind of one-way vent so any pressure that builds up in this case can escape here without the case swelling and uh it's probably one way so that water can't go back in I, I would assume looks like a fairly typical case i'm noticing that the strap actually goes all the way around which is uh something i have not seen before and this is supposed to be a bluetooth so we need to find the app uh, i don't see a scan code a qr code to scan that's usually pretty common so let's search for it on the Play Store. I uh, didn't see anything on the Play Store. Okay, so I found an app download section on their website. So I'm actually going to do this on my tablet because my tablet, I don't have any personal information. I don't really necessarily like side loading apps. Okay, so there it is. Find the device. Okay, so that was it. It says S12100. A L I zero zero two two five. Okay, I see. That's actually printed on the battery. It's printed right there, so that must be a serial number or some something. Okay, so let's take a look here at the app. Looks like we've got uh, four temperature sensors. Interesting. Showing zero power. Maybe it needs to be fully charged. It's showing the minimum cell voltage is three point one four eight. The maximum is three point one five six. The average is 3.151. So this uh, battery seems to be pretty low. I guess it doesn't show you each individual cell voltage. Uh, this shows you the lowest and the highest in the average. Oh, here we go. I had to scroll up. Here's the individual cell voltages. So 3.151, 3.149, 3.149, 3.151, 3.149, 3.151, 3.149, 3.149, 3.149, 3.149, 3.149, 3.149, 3.149, 3.149, 3.149, 3.149, 3.149, 3.149, 3.149, 3.149, 
this charge MOSFET will come back on. All right, so I got the shunt hooked up. I'm recording the time lapse over here. Uh, we got the alpha inverter. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And we've got the AC over here that we're going to use for the load. Let's turn it on. So far, we're pulling like 550 watts, 40 amps. I think that ends up probably settling down around 30 amps. All right, so I'm gonna let that test run and we'll be back when it completes. All right, we're at 2% and looks like we're about to be coming up on 1%. There we are, 1%. So we've pulled 99 amp hours so far, 1,279 watt hours. I did end up turning the AC up a little bit because it's getting late. <laughs> I really need this test to complete. So I put it on a medium fan, turn the temperature, temperature down a little bit. I'm quite certain that we are going to pull full capacity because we still are above 12 volts and we are like half an amp hour away from pulling full 100. Uh, we've already pulled the full watt hours, so we've pulled 1,285 watt hours. We've actually exceeded the watt hours. 100 amp hours, 1,291 watt hours. Uh, so this battery pulls full capacity. That's good. So far so good guys, this battery is looking to be quite good. And we're just gonna let this continue on to see where we ultimately land. I'm gonna say 102 to 104 amp hours. Okay, we're still going. Um, 103.45 amp hours, 1,332 watt hours. It's still going. We're definitely going to get to 104. We're going to go past 104 because we're still at 11.5 volts. Oh, well, 11.4 now. <laughs> oh man, look at that. 104 amp hours. Still going. Gosh, we might get to 105. Oh, we're about to hit 105, boys. Inverter's complaining, but we're going to keep going. Look, 105. <laughs> 1,350 watt hours. There it went. Okay. Inverter shut off. Uh, actually, the battery ended up sh shutting off because I lost my shunt. Okay, so anyways, yeah, we hit a 105. All right, fantastic. Well, uh, so now we're going to crack this thing open and see what it looks like on the inside. I know you guys hear me complaining about how hard it is to get these things open, and it keeps getting harder. You're probably going to hear me complain more and more because I... I think these guys are watching our videos and they're trying to figure out ways <laughs> to make it harder to open. Uh, this is the first time I encountered one with a clearly epoxy. It's a very hard green kind of epoxy like glue. And boy, is that much harder to open than the ones that have the silicone. Okay, enough of that. I think I got it opened enough to where we can just go ahead and rip this thing up. Maybe. I think it needs some more banging. Okay, there we go. 
All right, now we can get into it. All right. All right, we clearly got prismatic cells. Uh, this build quality looks fantastic. Uh, we've got a double, probably eight gauge for the positive, double eight gauge for the negative. Uh, got these nice coated bus bars here and here. There is a metal fixture uh, compressing the cells. There's a probably the Bluetooth board right there and the BMS is up here. Let's see if we can get these cells out. Yeah, I think it's gonna come out. It's griping. It's almost like it was crying. Oh look, it has some gray rubber potting in the bottom. That's what was making the noise. Ugh. Yeah, big old chunk of it right there. Okay, here we go. For the BMS, very nice looking. It's got a conformal coating, a little sealant over the top of it. And it says Roy Pal. So uh, clearly this battery is made by Roy Pal. So they're using their own custom BMS. That's pretty awesome. And we've got uh, just a su superior looking fixture, metal straps. These are, th all this is purposely built. This is not some battery that was just slapped together and taped up and thrown in this box. They went through all the engineering to purposely build this battery, you can tell. These are aluminum blocks on the side. The cells are coat, uh, have a uh, insulating layer between them and the aluminum block. This thing just looks, it, it looks ridiculously well engineered in quality. For $400, I almost don't expect this quality for that that price. Yeah, that's it's gorgeous. Let's see if we can pull this off and see the top of the cells. You know, and so we've got our balance leads. It, it looks like okay. We got two temperature sensors on top of the cells, and then they got a temperature sensor that runs to the positive terminal, and then they got a temperature sensor that runs to the negative terminal. That's really smart guys because I think why they did that is because like if somebody hooks this up and doesn't torque these things down, it's going to get hot. And if the battery senses that, it can shut down and save you from uh, possibly melting these terminals, melting this case, melting your wire, or melting something around. Uh, so that's very smart. That's really smart, and that's not an uncommon thing to happen. You know, sometimes people get in a hurry, and they, they, they put everything together, but they forget to come back by and tighten everything up. And, and everything may seem to work perfectly fine. You get out on the road or wherever you're at, and then all of a sudden your, your terminals are melting. So, I mean, for them to think of that, that's really awesome. Uh, we got uh, laser-welded aluminum bus bars. Let's see if we can pull this foam back. I may not be able to... There's definitely, hmm. you know, the vents are open or, you know, they're not blocked so this batteries can vent, but there's a plate, like a kind of a plastic thing that goes under the bus bars here and then under the bus bars here. And it's really preventing me uh, from pulling it off and it's stuck down. Uh, so I'm not thinking I'm gonna be able to get to see QR codes, unfortunately. But yeah, just a fantastic build quality. This is the best build quality I've seen so far. Okay, so we need to test these thermal probes to see if we got low temperature protection. Everything is just like really, really well put together here. Like the amount of time they spent assembling this and the amount of level of detail, these guys, they want to release a the best product that they can release. I know I'm sitting here talking these guys up, but this truly is really well built. 
So they, yeah, they have these thermal probes glued right into the top of the bus bars right there. You know, these guys clearly have figured out the, the correct spots that they want these things because they put them in the exact spots. You know, a lot of times I see these things are just kind of laid on top of the battery. So they've done their research. They've done their testing to see where they should be putting these thermal probes. I like that. Let's uh, hook up a charger. All right, we'll turn on the charge. There we go. And you can see we're charging with a 40 amps. Let's see if this will work. Yeah. Ow, froze my finger. Uh, so yeah, we've got low temperature protection. Come on guys, this is, I think this is my top pick battery in this price range. We probably have to reconnect the charge to get it to come back. Yep, and we're back. Fantastic. So we got Bluetooth, we got low temperature protection, we got an amazing build quality. It pulled 105 amp hours for $400. Am I right? Is that what it is? $400? Yeah. If you're in the market for a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery, it has Bluetooth, it has low uh, temperature protection as probably the best build quality I've seen. You know, I don't recommend things too much. I don't really tell you guys what I think you should get, but I kind of think these are, if, if I'm in the market for batteries in this price range, I think that this is the one I'm getting. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for the video. I think I've covered it all. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. That, that helps the channel out immensely. And I'll catch you on the next one.